Good morning, everyone. This is Ravecal. We're playing some more Final Fantasy VI T Edition. We are continuing into Eureka. This place has got some pretty crazy bosses. We did a video on Arimon last time that didn't go great. Um, so we're going to try again. I have rearranged my party a bit. Uh, you can see there I ch actually changed Mog's costume uh, back to his magic setup and it brought Gao in. So here's my change in strategy. Everyone's got a ribbon. I don't like the fact that we were getting hit with a uh, stone. It really disrupts things and it makes, oops. Uh, it makes it really hard to um, makes it really hard to get our buffs back up and because of the way it preserves that um, death sentence effect it is like doubly bad um, so Mog is back on casting duty Gao uh, Gauntlet only takes one relic slot, so we can keep a ribbon on him. Snow Muffler means he's still immune to ice. Um, same basic setup. Ice shields, hero shield. Um, ribbons, mementos. And same esper... Basically the same esper setup, just slightly rearranged. Uh, instead of having Mog as the primary attacker... We're switching over to Gao as the primary attacker, and Mog is basically taking Strago's role. Um, I'm a little nervous about Shadow's MP, um, but I figure it could be worse. Let's give it a crack. start with our haste gun. I just realized we don't get... So the downside with this is we're not going to get Mighty Guard, and I hadn't really thought about that. Um, but honestly, I don't feel like Mighty Guard was doing that much with this setup, because Meteo and Flare Star ignored magic defense. And we're immune to the other ones. So the only thing that would affect is Quake. And generally, if people are getting hit by Quake, it's because they just died, so they wouldn't have the buffs anyway. It's about... Not quite as much damage as Mog was doing, but I feel like it's probably good enough. <laughs> um, let's do some blinking. Renew our golem. Continue casting Ashura. Uh, Ariman's got like 45k hit points. So we'll see how much we are doing. So it should be... Uh, we'll try and kind of keep track of it. I'm assuming we're going to get a... Kind of one of the things I was nervous about was the fact that he does have that uh, physical evasion. Mog doing eight attacks meant at least some of them were going to hit, so we still did some damage. Already has that up. Uh, 
I figure there's also a slim chance with Gao's HP that he'll survive uh, something like a Meteo that Mog might not have. Um, might not be the case, his magic defense is still not great, but yeah. Probably more queens. Well, no, because we didn't have the... That's the one downside with that, is we we are stacking ourselves up with Mighty Guard effects. Okay, so they're at least at low hit points now. Uh, I'm guessing we're going to get an auto res. And let's very quickly here get that flow. Oh! He has the auto float. Whoops. That's a waste. We'll just need to get haste back up. That's fine. No. Hey, Gao did survive it. I was only halfway serious about that, and uh, I am pleasantly surprised. Uh, let's get Hastega. Let's get Kiraga. Actually, with that, I think we're going straight back into Nighthawk to keep the damage up. That's the other thing, is, uh, Gao... Um... Gao doesn't need to be at full hit points to do his damage where Mog did. While we've got a turn here, question mark, I'm gonna do a high ether. Um, this is just insurance, basically. Redo my Ashura. We're gonna leave uh, Realm on healing duty in case I need to get somebody back up. We should be getting close to the 45k. I think he did. Yeah, I think we're somewhere in the high 30s, low 40s for damage so far. So if there is a second phase, we should be hitting it. In fact, I'm actually going to Libra and see where we're at. Just to make sure that I'm not missing something. I think we're in the second phase. Huh. back on her feet. We'll do an erase on Gao. That will uh, very quickly put him back in fighting shape. Also, that puts him back at max HP as opposed to previously. Let's get our golem up just to be safe. Finally get a death sentence against somebody who is immune to it. Like, we brought Shono and Rome along just because they were immune to death sentence with the memento ring. And then 
very rarely have we actually run into it. Uh, Haste Float. Nighthawk. Should be close. So I'm gonna toss a flare out just to help push us over the edge. There we go. <clears throat> just need to modify the strategy a little bit. Um, that extra relic slot to prevent break is really what did it. We get the Grand Helm. Okay, Mog is going to switch back over to Molulu Charm here. We're gonna run back over here, and I've actually got a slight adjustment. I kind of hinted at it before, but I didn't have the money. So what we're gonna do is sell a few X potions. By a few, I mean like ten. <laughs> Um, I went, while I was getting Mog's costume changed, I went and swapped several, um, or I went and basically just did a little bit of grind for Gil. And the way I've been grinding for Gil is going back to Solitary Island and stealing Xbox because they sell for 18,000 apiece. So I stole like 10 of them and that's enough to get those Mirage Vests. <clears throat> so this is, I don't know what all Cerberus can do. That's the fight we've got left. Um, it was pretty nasty last time. Uh, we're not actually gonna jump right into it because I do wanna rearrange my party and I'm gonna do that off stream. Um, I need to do a little bit of theory crafting. Um, but basically, my thought process here is he did three physical attacks back to back, and our current setup, we don't really have a great way to negate that because Golem doesn't do that. He also followed that up with a bunch of magic attacks um, that were specifically... I, I still don't know what element that thing is. Uh, it's... Like, my gut says it's either light and lightning, or something like that. Like, it's a multi-element attack. I'm almost positive. Um, it's lightning and something else. So, I'm gonna try and hit some elemental uh, resistances with the characters that we're bringing. We're gonna bring in four characters wearing Mirage Vests and do like a super evasion setup to try and help negate that, um, to try and negate that effect. And then the rest of it's going to be dedicated to trying to hit some elemental resistance. I really don't know what the play is beyond that. Um, I don't know what Cerberus, what else Cerberus does. So next time we are definitely going to be going in, taking some time, Oh, I didn't actually check what the Grand Helm did. We should do that quick. Uh, Grand Helm. Plus 25% HP. Okay. And, okay, that is really mediocre. Yep. Awesome. <laughs> uh, the big thing with this that makes it super mediocre is the fact that uh, the Maximilian also gives an HP boost is a heavy armor piece, and they don't stack. So those two HP boost items, you'd have to put on different characters to get the benefits. Um, so yeah, pretty mediocre. Anyway, hopefully you are still enjoying. If you are, please give me a like and subscribe. Check out the other content on my channel. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments. And as always, 
Have a good one. We'll catch you next time.